Hi, this is Phil from Flights of Fancy here again. Uh, it's winter and we're talking about nest boxes for garden birds. Um, and funnily enough, we make a wide range of nest boxes for garden birds, the Flights of Fancy way, really solidly and made to last. If you'd like to see some more product videos or Ask Phil videos, don't forget to subscribe. Now then, if I just get a couple of them, these are what you would call tip boxes, I suppose. They are for uh, sparrows, nuthatches, blue tits, all this sort of thing. Um, you can see how they're made. They're made out of uh, Swedish uh, FSC timber, slow grown, so they last a long time. And we've got um, lids that screw shut, so Mr. Squirrel can't get in there. And if you just lift up the lid, you can see the sort of thickness of the timber that we're talking about there. Uh, and it's all treated with animal friendly uh, timber treatment inside and out. Helps to make it last for years and years. Nest boxes need to go up in the winter because birds are looking for their um, nest boxes late winter, early spring. Uh, so the sooner you get them up, the sooner you stand a chance of finding them. And you'll find that sometimes they might not go there in the first year. They may roost in them through the winter, but if they are up there, they'll be aging down. And so you'll find that the following year, you'll probably have a, a box full of little chicks there uh, to keep an eye on. Uh, as you can see, our boxes have brass hinges on them, not brassed uh, steel hinges, they are solid brass hinges. You'll be able to come back 10 years after you put your nest box up, unscrew it and open the lid properly and it won't all fall to bits on you. So uh, I think what we might do now is just go outside and have a go at putting one up with Rob the Gardener. Hi, we're here in the Flights of Fancy Garden, uh, ready to put up uh, a bird box. We're gonna put up a tip box in our willow tree um, ready for the spring because they're looking for the uh, places to nest already. Uh, so I'm here with Rob, uh, Mr. Stokes, our trusty gardener. He's fully equipped to put the box up on the tree uh, and I am going to be his safety man on the ladder. Okay, so I'm going to check that uh, the ladder is safe and well footed because uh, we don't want any accidents, anyone getting hurt. Um, so Mr. Stokes is going to go up the ladder and I'll catch him if he falls. <laughs> Would you like me to take that and I'll pass it up to you when you're up there on your drill, Mr. Stokes? Thanks, Phil. There we go. Right. right there's your drill, Mr. Stokes. And your tip box. Right, so as you can see, we're high enough up the tree so that we're avoiding predators like cats and this sort of thing and securely fixed to the tree. The last thing we want is a nice little bunch of babies in there coming crashing down from a badly fitted bird box. Is it nice and secure, Mr. Stokes? Yes, Phil. That looks quite attractive there. Right, thank you very much. Can I take your drill? Yep. There we go. I've got the ladder. Beautifully done, sir. Jobs are good. Yeah, God, jobs are good. Right, now we've been outside with Rob and we put our, uh, our bird boxes up in the garden uh, and you've got a few hints and tips on how to do it and the safer ways of doing it because nobody should get hurt doing this sort of thing. Um, we'll just have a look at the rest of the range of bird boxes here. And uh, we've got the open fronted nest box. This is also called a Robin and Wren box. Guess why? because robins and wrens like it. Robins and wrens like to look out of their nest box. They're very sort of keep their eyes open at what's going on around. They don't like to hide, they like to look. And so open fronted, robin and wren nest box again, screw down lid, uh, lift up the lid, uh, clean it out inside even though you can actually do it. <laughs> um, held on with two screws and it's a lovely, lovely solid box. Now, the next box we're gonna look at is the tree creeper box. This is designed to mimic the uh, natural nesting habit of a tree creeper, uh, which is where the bark comes off on an old tree. They'll sneak in behind it and build their nest there. Tree creepers are not endangered. There's a lot of them, but you rarely see them because they tend to just freeze. So you, you take, your eyes tend to spot movement and they don't. <laughs> so uh, put one of those up and hopefully year two, you'll have tree creepers in there, provide you with hours of entertainment. We have the Sparrow Terrace. Sparrows are um, naturally gregarious birds and they live in little groups. 
So in each of these sparrow boxes are three little sparrow houses, one at either end, one in the middle. And the lid is screwed on at one end with big brass hinges uh, to help you uh, open it. And you can access all three of the nest boxes from there. Right, um, one of my favorite boxes that we make is the Swift box, which is a little unusual. Uh, but designed for those beautiful, graceful creatures, the swifts, uh, that come to us every year. Some people have swifts, some people don't. If you haven't got a swift box or suitable place for swifts to nest, you won't have them. So it's always worth putting one up. Um, they are um, quite long. They've got this oval entrance in the bottom there, specifically designed for what they like. Um, two screws in the top, you can take the, take the lid off once a year in the winter when they've gone home to somewhere warm um, and finished catching all the flies in your garden through the summer. Now over here, we've got the Blackbird box. It's got a, a nice big hole in the front there. Um, you can get thrushes in it. You get, might get starlings in it. You might get doves in it. Wrens and robins, of course, because they like their open fronted nest box. This is just a bit bigger. Uh, nobody's told them what's the appropriate size for them. Our next, next box is the starling box. It is designed for starlings, but it can be used by little owls, by doves, woodpeckers as well. Your spotted woodpecker will use that type of box, uh, which is lovely. If you can have woodpeckers in your garden, it's, it's amazing. They're so colorful uh, with this sort of swooping flight that they do. It's really, really nice. Uh, so that is the full range of Flight So Fancy garden nest boxes, uh, available in green and brown to suit your taste or your garden. Um, as far as positioning your nest boxes is concerned, they want to be at the appropriate height, uh, away from predators, and facing between north and southeast, uh, so that they're not facing the prevailing weather, and also not facing straight into the sun, so that they'll get too hot in summer, because that's not good for the babies. Um, now, if you've got any uh, questions or want and more information on what height, what type of bird, um, anything like that, but uh, relevant to those nest boxes, please have a look on the website. With each nest box, there's a full description, dimensions, where to put it, what height, and what birds it's for. So thank you very much for your time, and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.